Hello, this is Pastor Tim, and this is week 51 of Word 52. That's right, only one week left. And this is the week of Christmas, and we're celebrating the greatness of Jesus Christ and what He's done for us. That's why this passage out of Romans chapter 8 and verse 31 is so powerful. What shall we say then in response to this? If God is for us, who can be against us? As you think about everything that God has done for us and why we celebrate Christmas, Romans 8 gives us so many power-packed promises that are ours because of Christ. He tells us that our present sufferings, the things that we're going through, can't compare with the glory that's going to be revealed in us. He tells us that the Spirit prays through us when we don't know how to pray. The Holy Spirit does the praying through our being. That's another awesome promise. We also know that God works in those who are the called according to His promise. So that means that in every situation, by trusting God, He will be glorified. It also tells us that He has good works prepared for us in advance with all the benefits that God has given to us and the things that He's provided for us. The question is, in Romans chapter 8, verse 31, what shall we say in response to all of these things? God is for us. Who can be against us? That means nothing can be against us. No one can be against us. God's got this. I hope that you're enjoying your Christmas week, and we'll see you next week for Word 52. This is week 51 of Word 52, where our verse is, what shall we say in response to all these things? God is for us. Who can be against us? God bless you, and Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm.